Hey everybody, this is Gregory from Dapp University. So is blockchain development dead? Is there actually any demand for blockchain developers? So that's what we're talking about today. Uh, and before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And also, if you're interested in learning how to build blockchain technology, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. So is blockchain development dead? Is there any demand for blockchain developers? Well, it's a good question, and it's one that I get a lot, because people see the price of Bitcoin declining over the past year, and they say, you know, what's going to happen to blockchain technology? Are people actually interested in it? And are they going to hire developers to build it? So like I said, it's a fair question. So I want to reassure you by saying that despite the price of Bitcoin dropping, the demand for blockchain developers is still solid. So let's talk about why. And the explanation here is really just a matter of basic economics, right? And it's dealing with the concept of supply and demand, right? That's what you're just asking when you say, is there any demand for blockchain developers? So this is an emerging technology that caught the attention of a lot of people over the past couple of years, especially when the Bitcoin price shot up at the end of 2017 and, you know, that big ICO craze and things like that that happened. It caught the attention of a lot of people, and that was a huge driver for the demand, right? People started to learn about blockchain technology more. They got interested in this distributed ledger technology that could offer things that other pieces of technology couldn't do, right? And they wanted to build something with it, and they wanted to be some of the first people to market to build with this emerging technology. And that was one of the key drivers for the demand going up. Right? You had a lot of people who were speculating, trying to get into the space to make big profits early with a new technology. Right? And that's it. That's the demand. That's the key. And you might say, well, wouldn't the demand drop if all the people who got in during the Bitcoin bubble, you know, if, if they just decided to back out because their businesses failed or because, you know, people want to just come and make a quick buck and then when things got slow, they just, you know, turned off the lights and left their businesses. Well, that's true to some extent. Some people did that, right? Some people just wanted to get in and make a quick dollar and weren't here for the long run. But those people aren't really going to sustain the demand anyway. Like, it's kind of better to weed out those projects and let them fall away and let the people who are trying to establish real businesses come and build their businesses. Because that's what's going to support the demand and make blockchain technology really flourish and, you know, build an ecosystem that supports, you know, developers and, you know, makes businesses thrive and lets the technology actually take off and do what it really can do to reach max adoption. And that's it. That's pretty much an explanation for the demand. Now let's talk about the other side of the equation, which is the supply. What is the supply relative to the demand? Well, the supply is here. And the number of people who understand how to build blockchain technology, you know, blockchain developers, is here. It's, the demand is much higher than the supply, right? And it's not just that the demand is higher than the supply, it's that both are changing. The demand is actually growing, and the supply is growing. But the demand is actually growing at a faster rate than the supply. So that means the demand is outpacing the supply, which means that blockchain development is not dead and there's a lot of demand for blockchain developers. And because the demand is outpacing the supply, it's actually good for the ecosystem to bring in more developers. That's part of what I'm trying to do with this channel. I'm trying to teach more people how to build blockchain technology who are interested in doing it to help build out the ecosystem. So you might think that that would you know, flood the market with developers and you know, just saturate the supply and that would satisfy the demand and then everyone's compensation would go down or people would lose jobs or something like that. But with blockchain technology, I don't think it's going to be the case, and this is why. So the more developers that come in, more good developers, more technology gets built, right? And the more blockchain technology gets built, the more people are going to actually be using it. And the more people that use it on the, on the user side, the user demand, as user demand grows, there'll be demand for more pieces of technology. And as that grows, there'll be more demand for developers to build it. So it's kind of this cyclical thing where the more developers come in, the more we can build the technology and actually reach this critical mass 
get this snowball rolling that will push the space forward and actually, you know, be able to build blockchain technology towards mass adoption. And also the more developers come into the space, we have developers to build stuff like developer tools, which makes doing your job easier. It makes you more effective and the faster we can ship products and things like that. So more developers coming into the space is actually a good thing. So why do I think the demand for blockchain developers is so high? Well, I'll just tell you from my experience, you know, I get multiple project inquiries every single week about companies that are trying to build blockchain applications, right? So that alone just tells me that there are lots of people trying to get into the space and are trying to find, you know, competent blockchain developers to build out their vision, build up their products, right? And you don't have to just take my word. You know, you can see other people that I have on my channel, like I have Ramon from CryptoJobless.com, and he has a website where, you know, you can find jobs as blockchain developers, and he's helping people get jobs. Um, you can go watch that video if you want to. You know, we talk about uh, his perspective on the, on the space and where he's seeing the demand go. So there's a lot of other people who are, you know, confirming what I'm saying, um, you know, uh, you can see other interviews on my channel and I actually like to have more people on the channel, um, who have experience with this and have, you know, insights into this because that's helpful for you all. I want you all to know what the opportunity is out there. So, um, if y'all are interested in that, just let me know, leave a comment below. If you have any good suggestions for people who want to come onto the channel, uh, like I said, leave a comment below or you can reach out to me. My email address is, uh, in the description of the video. So hope y'all liked that. That's all I got for today. Um, again, if y'all are interested in learning how to build blockchain technology, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, be sure to subscribe and click the like button below. Again, that's all I got for today. So I hope y'all like this video. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.